Vogue. Hi Vogue. Hi Vogue. Hey everybody, I am Billy. I'm Camila Cabello. I'm Normani. Hello gorgeous. Hi, I'm Mara Apatow. I'm Phoebe Genova. Hey guys. Jennifer Lopez here. I'm Kate Moss. I'm Teresa Chandran. I am Brooke Shields. I'm Chloe Grace Moretz. I'm gonna show you my skincare routine. And I'm gonna walk you through my day to night routine. Just got off stage, so let's do it. All right, let's get started. First step, number one. First, I'm gonna start with my cleanser. Skincare has always been a really important part of my day. I'm usually really rough on my skin, and so my makeup and hairstylist on Bridgerton, they kept telling me, be gentle, be gentle. So that's what I'm trying to focus on at the moment. I used to use really harsh cleansers. I realized that I need to be more gentle. I saw this on TikTok. She used a brush to wash her face. It's changed my life, so let's get started. I use Mandelic Cleansing Gel. I used to wash my face so violently. <laughs> and a friend commented one time and she's like, why are you so rough with your face? I used to be like, <laughs> like a dude. Gentle, gentle. I've been using this one. I got a skincare routine in lockdown because my skin was getting so bad and I was getting such bad like spots. So just pat your skin dry, but don't dry too much. That's an important step that I learned from TikTok. Use ice every morning like this, and it's not necessarily, it's not a graceful one, but it helps me. I'm gonna put on a hydrating mask. Ooh, this is slippery. A little eye mask. I get like super puffy eyes when I first wake up. The Dew Forever Eye Mask, the reusable. I just love the routine of skincare. I always have, I love the like ritual, the commitment, self-care. It's like at home, in a bath, with a mask on doing all my skincare steps. I love before I put on makeup. This just reminds me to take a minute for myself in the morning. I have my coffee and it's just a, a lovely morning self-care ritual. I've been using honey for years. It has anti-inflammatory properties and it's a smoothing agent, it's an exfoliant. This is the honey I use. So you wanna do it on a dry face. You just wanna rub it in and then you wanna kinda of tap your face. It's really sticky and the suction pulls out all the impurities. Clay mask is going to dive in and get all the impurities that are underneath the skin. It's gonna pull it all out. I never rub the towel on my face. I usually dab it like this. My next step is serums. I love two serums from the Logique Recherche. This one is the Iso Placenta Serum and this one's the Extra Tissularis. The Hydrocool Serum from Is Clinical. I ignored skincare for a really long time. It wasn't until I hit problems that I actually started taking care of my skin. I use this glowy makeup serum. It's glittery and it's pink, which is the two things it takes to convince me to buy something. I love using my Barbra Sturm Clarifying Serum. I do like two drops. I pretend like I know what I'm doing like when you're getting a, a face massage and they go like this. I like to be glowy. I love a good compliment that's like, oh my God, your skin looks so good. Oh, you're glowing. We love that for me. In Korean, we say kwarsa, but it's, in English, it's gua sha. It has a small roller for the eye. When I remember, I'll put this in the fridge the night before, and I'll kind of do this in the car on the way to work. And I feel like it just de-puffs. The funnest way to do it is to do it in the shape of a heart. Mm. 
massage tips, okay? I did this in the morning. Put your arms up and you pinch right here. There's this muscle right here. And if you pinch this and massage it, it's really good for depuffing. It's a limp massage technique. I'll use this Shantikai face roller. And I love this one, it's amazing. When I'm working, my skin gets a lot worse. And it's taken me a long time to figure out products that don't make me break out. And even still, like I think it's just wearing so much makeup for so many hours and reapplying it and reapplying it, it just gets like, it's so hard not to break out. The one big thing I learned though is making sure all of your makeup's off at the end of the day. I used to not do this either because I just felt like, oh, what's the point? But. <laughs> The circulation that I feel when I roll really does, like it, you can tell, there's like a pinker quality to my skin. What it does is it uplifts and it uplifts my spirit. That's for sure. <laughs> it makes me feel so good. I had a ballet teacher. She noticed that I was like really being extra hard on myself and comparing a lot uh, to other girls in class, comparing my body, comparing, everything in a very negative way. And she pulled me aside and she was like, Haley, every time you look at yourself in the mirror and you feel that negative self-talk coming in, force yourself to say three compliments about your appearance. I was just watching Haley Lou Richardson's Vogue Beauty Secrets. Her advice, if you're feeling insecure, say three things that you love about yourself. And it's so funny because my mom used to make me do the same thing. It's not always easy, but it's so true. It's a form of self-care, being kind to yourself. Haley, I love your eyebrows too. This awesome thing right here is a Dr. Dennis Gross like light mask. So it's just a little button. I do have one little spot just here. You click the button and it stays on for three minutes. Biggest tip that I would have for anyone struggling with acne is just to listen to your own skin. And there's lots of great advice from all different people, but at the end of the day, every one's skin is different. Here's the new face, my favorite little thing. It makes my face sort of more awake and tighter and at work. I can just see a difference on camera. We're gonna do some eye cream. I really do like doing my skincare. I think after a long day on set, I don't enjoy starting to do it, but once I do it, I'm like, hmm, that was a good choice. Ole Hendrickson eye cream. I've started using eye cream every morning underneath my makeup. I feel like my makeup just settles on better. Growing up in Nigeria, I had like black soap for my face and like cocoa butter <laughs> all over my skin. It was really, really during lockdown that I really got into like skincare. This is the Elta MD sunscreen. It's clear. I wear sunscreen every day. It doesn't matter if it's raining, it doesn't matter if it's gloomy. Don't forget your sunscreen. I almost just forgot it. Sunscreen. I just think that the Irish in me just wants to be sunburned all the time. I don't usually only put it on in the morning exclusively for my morning coffee run. And by run, I mean I get in my car and I get a coffee. I don't run. Moisturizer. <laughs> this is key to someone like me who has really dry skin. The ice moisturizer. And then Apparently you're meant to bring it down to your neck, which I always forget to do. This might be my favorite cream that I've used in a long time. This next step that I do is moisturizer, my day cream. I know there was a lot of jokes kind of in the Spanish market. They like to <laughs> say, all you need to use is bloqueador and you'll be, <laughs> you'll look like J-Lo. But the truth is, is if you start young, it will make a huge difference. Only maybe five years ago did I get serious about skincare and I, I feel so much better for it. I, I feel like my skin is a lot nicer. We wanna make sure our lips are moisturized. I am addicted to chapstick, specifically Lucas Paw Paw ointment. Probably one of my favorite parts of my skincare routine is my Laneige lip mask. My mom actually recently stole my one, so I had to go buy a new one. This is Laneige, um, Lila told me about it. It's a sleep mask, but it's so good. 
shout out to Halsey for the Laneige mask. She sent me a little gift bag and it included some of her favorite products and it became one of my favorite products. And last but not least, this perfume is the best. Just because it smells different on everyone. Kind of thing. And then, you know, I do a little bit of that. I do all that right now, you know what I'm saying? My favorite fragrance of all time. Someone once told me that like, if you spray it in your hair a little, then like all day long, it'll smell good. My way intense. Background rouge. Something I learned is if you spray like the back of your neck lightly, then that's what people smell when you're walking away from them. You know how everybody says Rihanna smells so good? I would love to be remembered the same. Because I have extensions, um, I really don't do anything. I'm like ready to go. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I just like to say that. I'm feeling pretty goddamn sexy right now. This is the final look. This was my post-show bedtime routine. Those are my beauty secrets. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. I love you guys. Have the most amazing day. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. Bye. <laughs> See you around. Bye. Bye. I love you. Thanks for watching.